Welcome back to Market Maker. We're going to take you straight to London right now. You remember Rebecca Brooks. She was the face of the News Corp hacking scandal, a top deputy to Rupert Murdoch, who ran the company's international newspapers. She was officially acquitted on hacking related charges this week, and she's now speaking to reporters for the first time. Let's take a look. I am Rebecca and of the dignity she has shown. Like Charlie said, we haven't got much to add that we, than we said two years ago. I mean, of course, the last few years um, have been tough for both of us and for those closest to us. But more importantly, they've been tough for everybody on all sides that have been affected by the issues highlighted by this case. And therefore, throughout the three-year police investigation, and through our eight-month trial at the Old Bailey, we've always tried to keep our troubles in perspective. I mean, after all, you know, we're, we have a, a happy and healthy daughter. We have our brave and resolute mums that have been at court uh, most of the time. And we've had strong and unwavering support from all our friends, our family, and from our legal team that have believed in us from the beginning. I am innocent of the crimes that I was charged with, and I feel vindicated by the unanimous verdict. What's your reaction? What's your message to Andy Coulson tonight? But when I was arrested, it was in the middle of a maelstrom of controversy, of politics and of comment. Some of that was fair, but much of it was not, so I'm grateful for the jury. Uh, I'm very grateful to the jury for coming to their decision. What's your reaction to the extent of criminality that has been exposed at the two papers you worked at, Mrs Brooks? I think I'd like to say it's been a time of reflection uh, for me. I've learnt some valuable lessons and hopefully I'm the wiser for it. Do you wish you had done more to expose the criminality, Mrs Brooks? Do you wish you had done more to expose the criminality? I, I, think, I think that said, I'm incredibly proud of the many journalists I've worked with throughout my career and the great campaigns that we have fought and won. But do you wish you'd done more? As Chief Executive, do you wish you had done more to expose the criminality? And all I can say to you all is that Today, my thoughts are with my former colleagues and their families who face future trials. I'm going to do everything I can to support them, as I know how anxious the times ahead are. Do you think the police have a reaction? Have you have have you, can I ask you whether you've spoken to Do you feel bad about what's happened to Andy Coulson, Rebecca? What, I just, like I, what, I, what I'm going to do now, and I hope you don't mind, is I can't say too much today. I have to be careful for my former colleagues' sake, what I say, but my thoughts are with them, like I said, and their families. But now we're going home. What's your message to Andy Coulson? How do you feel about what happened to Andy Coulson? What's your message to Charlie? Has David Cameron still stand by what you said two years ago, that you believe this was a witch hunt? Charlie, what's your message to Andy Coulson? 